everyone and welcome to this speed renovation video in which I'm renovating the Bedlington Boathouse which is the starter house that you find in Brindleton Bay and I'm renovating this house for the mini series that I've recently started on the channel in which I'm playing with the positivity challenge that came with the most recent update in The Sims 4 that also brought the terrain tools which is actually a tool that I've never really played with with The Sims 2 and with The Sims 3 because at the time I wasn't really a great builder and it was really complicated for me to just come up with a good looking house so using terrain tools was almost impossible for me so I'm still quite new with this terrain tool thing and I tried a few things here and there and I, actually at first I thought that I would build an entire starter house for The Sims that I'm playing with in this mini series using terrain tools but in the end I decided to renovate this house because I think it was a couple weeks ago James Turner from The Sim Supply renovated this house on a budget. He used a 10,000 simoleon budget to renovate this house and I thought that I could maybe use as well a budget because I like playing the game I think the way it's meant to be played you know with the amount of money that you have at the beginning and not cheat but in the end I decided to just go ahead and play with the all the, the furnitures that we already have in the game and just renovate the house as I felt like it. So this house is not a starter house, even though originally it is a starter house. I just went crazy and had a lot of fun renovating this house. And so as you can see, I decided to turn the house around. So the left, left side of the house is actually facing front, the front of the lot. And at first I thought that it would look weird, but I think it gives an entire new feel to the house. And even though originally this is a starter house, there is a lot of room on the inside and I think you can easily make this house a three bedroom house but I decided to go for two bedrooms because I'm actually playing with two sims and with the recent update once again we also got the style influencer career which I'm also playing with in this mini series because I don't usually create fashionable sims or sims that are very interested into fashion so I decided to create two sims so that I could play with the positivity challenge with one sim and explore the style influencer career with the other one. And I will just quickly talk about the sims in just a second. And so also with the update we've had the first person mode, uh, which is very very fun, though apparently a lot of people are experiencing motion sickness with this mode. But I personally didn't have any problem with it, so I'm sometimes playing a little bit with it. I'm not going to try out too much on my Let's Plays and my videos to play with that, because I'm worried that you guys are going to feel a little bit sick with it. But in my own time, I just, I'm just having a whole lot of fun with it. And yeah, so the two sims that we are playing with are Louis and Valentin. So Valentin is the one that, want to, that wants to become a style influencer and she's living with her cousin Louis who is actually the male version of my sim self because I think like most people that play the sims I tried to recreate myself in the game but every time I tried I showed my sim self to some friends or to my boyfriend and every time people were telling me this sim doesn't look like you so I tried and I tried and I tried and eventually I kind of gave up and recently I wanted to try to recreate my sim self, I don't really know why, I just wanted to try again. And once again I had really bad feedback on my sim, so since apparently my sim self really doesn't look like me, I thought I could go all the way with that idea that the sims doesn't have to look like me but can be me, so I decided to use the sim that I had the most positive feedbacks on and I turned this sim into a male and this is Louis and I decided to name him Louis because once my mother told me that she really liked that name and I thought maybe she would have liked to given me this name if I were a boy so this is Louis for you and I'm having a whole lot of fun actually with him and even though I didn't really play a lot with those two sims I really really like them especially Valentine and so for the backstory of those two sims so my sim self my male sim self, sim self isn't at all like me I just imagined the personality the personality I would have if I was a boy and so Louis wants to become a rock star so he has the musical genius aspiration and I also given him the perfectionist trait the ambitious trait and of course he's a vegetarian and Valentine, she is, um, well, she wants to become a style influencer, so I gave her the leader of the pack aspiration for now, 
But when I will get get famous, I think I'm going to give her the aspiration to become really, you know, c celebrity, become really famous. Because Valentine, her story is that she, even though she's from the same family of Louis, she had a complete different upbringing, upbringing than him. Because Louis, he was very lucky, he was an only child, he was loved by his parents, he was really close with them as well, he had a lot of friends, he was a very lucky guy. While Valentine, she uh, suffered a divorce from her parents and her mother kind of ab abandoned her when she divorced her father. Um, because Valentine's father is actually the brother of Louis's mother. So this is how the two of them are related. And so Valentine's father remarried with another woman and he had other children with, them, with her. And eventually he kind of forgot about Valentine and he wasn't really taking a good care of her. And so when Valentine turned 18, since she wanted to become a style influencer, she decided to leave her suburban area where she grew up to go to San Maishino because she thought that she could become a big style influencer over there. But things didn't turn out as the way she was she wanted for them to turn out and she almost became homeless. And when Louis heard about that, that his cousin that he really really loves, you know, because he's a really nice guy. He's really positive and he always wants to bring the best in people. He called her and asked her, do you want to come live with me? Because he inherited this house from his father's side and he had this spare bedroom and he he's not really used to living alone, so he wanted for Valentine to come and live with him. And so Valentine, she's actually hot-headed, she's also self-assured, and she's also mean. Because people were so mean with her, she didn't have a lot of friends, if not at all. And people were, as I said, very very mean to her. So the only way she, she had to defend herself was to become mean as well. And I thought it was kind of funny to play with the positivity challenge with a mean sim, even though she's not the one I'm playing with the positivity challenge aspiration. Uh, I thought it was kind of fun to have a mean sim during this Positivity Challenge miniseries. And Valentine, she was kind of resentful, but also really glad that she has she had her cousin to help her. And so she decided to move in with, um, with Louis in this quite beautiful house, I have to say. Because of course, I use, as, I, as you may have seen, those bay windows that we've got with the laundry day stuff back. And for me, this is the house that you need to use those windows on, or at least this is, this is the lot you need to use those windows on. Because the view that you have from this place is wonderful. And so this is how the two of them, well, started living together. And I think the two of them are really, really close, even though they could be closer, it's just Valentine that's trying to protect herself from getting hurt. And even though her cousin is overall a very good guy, she's still trying to protect herself just in case he decides one day to become really, really mean to her. So this is pretty much the backstory for those Sims. And even though it's just a mini series, I, I don't know, I wanted to have a story to start off with and it gives a bit more depth to the characters and I've already recorded the first part and I'm about to record the second part, hopefully the last one, maybe there's going to be three parts, I don't know. But the, the aspiration is actually quite easy to complete apparently, so I don't think it's going to take a long time to, to complete this aspiration in this mini-series. But I think I'm going to bring those sims back when I will start a Get Famous Let's Play because Valentine is very, very interesting. I'm really interested to see how her character can evolve in the sims world, in the sims universe, and I I have a whole bunch of ideas with Valentine for a Get Famous Let's Play. So yeah, this is pretty much the entire renovation. And as you may have seen, I decided to go for a light blue and light beige kind of color theme on the inside because for me, I mean, it's in the name of the house. It's a boat house in a way. And it's close to the seaside from the beach. And I thought... You have to represent this kind of sea environment and this kind of beachy environment as well. So this is why I went for light colors and also it brings a lot of light into, into the build. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this house turned out to be. And I'm really curious to know what you guys think about this house. And of course, you can download it from the gallery and I will leave a link in the description for you to go and check it out. And yeah, I'm going to leave you here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will enjoy the rest of this video. And I will talk to you in the next one. Mm -hmm.